Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, uh, what are we going to do right now is we're going to compute for the measures of central tendency and variability using Microsoft Excel. Okay, so first, I have provided all the data here, the scores, let's say. So, what are we going to do is to find the mean. Okay, so in order to find the mean, okay, so... What are we going to do here is press equal, then type average, then parentheses, then drag all the x here. So this is the average, okay? So let's try it in a mano mano way. Okay, so let's say in order to find the sum, press sum, then drag here. Then press enter, then equals, we're going to type 642 or press here, then press the slash sign. Okay, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, there are 9 scores out there. So, here, diba? It's the same. Okay, so in order to find the median of this data, okay, so we're going to write, equal then median then we're going to scroll okay so here so this is the median of the data so we do not need to arrange here just to get the median through this software named microsoft excel likewise with the mode okay so in mode we're going to write equal then we're going to type mode okay then we're going to enter parentheses. Then we're going to scroll down or drag or whatsoever. So here, when we say not applicable, it means to say it has no mode. Okay, so now we're going to input the mean here. Okay, so we're going to write 71.3333. Okay, so this is, this is a repeating decimal, so I think pwede na siya. Okay, so we're going to copy paste here. So what are we going to do right now is we're going to find the standard deviation in a mano mano way. Okay, so what are we going to do here is we're going to type this entry and we're going to subtract it with this mean by clicking this cell okay press enter then therefore it is the difference between the score and the mean so yun nang hinahanap na natin so what are we going to do here is we're going to find the difference between the score and the mean then if you want to do it instantly you can drag here Ayun, so, it, so automatically, lumabas lahat, right? So, do you want to check the solution here? Oh. Oh. So, for those who have Microsoft Excel, you do not need a scientific calculator for you to do so because this Excel has so many functions in statistics, okay? In order to look for the square of each difference what are we going to do here is we're going to write power then parenthesis then press the cell then the power is the exponent here so you want to find the square of all the differences you can drag it here make sure that this cursor is it looks like a plus sign. So here, so this is the, oops, so this is the answer. However, okay, so we're going to move this away, then we're going to drag it here. Ayun, so yun. Since I use the equation 
thing just to type these symbols. So, so this is the difference of each squares. Okay, so we want to find the total, right? So what are we going to do is sum, then we're going to drag. Then this is the sum, right? However, we're going to find the variance in a mano mano way. So to get the variance, what are we going to do is to divide the, the total of the square of the differences. Then we're going to divide it by the sample size. So this is the variance. In order to get the standard deviation, what are we going to do here is we're going to square root this number. Then here is the standard deviation of the given data. So however, we can use the Excel function. So we're going to press equal. Since the symbol is theta, it means to say that it is the population standard deviation. So we're going to type stdev.p. Then what are we going to do is we're going to drag the given scores. Okay, so diba, it matches. Okay, so then what are we going to do here is to look for the population variance. The population variance represent the theta squared. So what are we going to do is we're going to type var dot p then parentheses then we're going to drag or highlight the given observations or the scores. So here it matches, isn't it? Okay, I'll make it specific here. So it, so it will not be confusing on our part. Okay, so what are we going to do here is we're going to look for the sample variance and sample standard deviation. In order to look for the sample variance, we're going to divide the total with the sample size minus 1, okay? Why minus 1? Because the sample is always a part of the population. So here is the standard variance. In order to get the standard deviation, we're, we're just going to square root the variance here. Okay, so that is the sample standard deviation. Okay, so this is the sample standard deviation representing S. Okay, we're going to type stdev that s is to say sample then we're going to drag it here so it matches isn't it caso rounded of function but if we're going to extend it this really matches isn't it okay in order to look for the sample variance we're going to type bar dot s then parenthesis then we're going to highlight or drag all the observations and we're going to press enter. It matches it, right? So you do not need to do the mano mano thing if you want to compute the standard deviation, the variance, and the mean for the scores that you had gathered in your research. You can use that in statistics subject if you want to use a computer. So... For those who have no scientific calculator, but those who have laptops, no need to worry because you can find this, this mean, standard deviation, and variance using this Microsoft Excel. So do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Thank you and God bless you and have a great day.